Twice. Twice this franchise has played a trick on its audience. The first time when the original Blair Witch Project came out way back in the late 90s, tricking its audience into thinking that this was real found footage with the most brilliant ploy of viral marketing I have ever seen. Now we come to the second time when this little throwaway piece of shit movie that no one cared about called The Woods was coming out and there was going to be a pre-screening at Comic-Con. Until the producers came out and said, by the way, this is the Blair Witch. What? And now we've got the second time that this movie franchise has done a spin -a on its audience. And I can say for the second time, this movie franchise has scared me. So The Blair Witch is the real sequel, because we don't need to remember that one, to the late 90s movie The Blair Witch Project. And while we all now know that that found footage that made up the first movie isn't real, this movie does a really good job into almost tricking you into forgetting that. It's a meta take on what can arguably be called the grand Mac Daddy of found footage movies. This time, the main character is actually the brother from the female protagonist from the first movie, and he's got this thought that maybe his sister's still out there. It all kicks off with this brilliant expose on YouTube, again, bringing in the modern 21st century audience. Because let's be frank, YouTube basically runs the internet now. And so we've got this brilliant expose where the main character feels like he can go find his sister. He's bringing his friends along with him. And we've got now another female protagonist who's going to be filming him. Her main point is that she wants to do a documentary about him, the character who's not being able to come to terms with being able to let his sister go. Until we enter the Black Hills Forest and it goes from being a documentary about humanity and giving up to a full-blown fucking horror movie because just like in the Blair Witch Project shit gets real in this movie take what you got from the Blair Witch Project and put it on steroids and this movie knows exactly what the audience of the Blair Witch Project likes that suffocating claustrophobic feel that the Black Hills trees and forests give you that getting lost and being able to make it a really relatable situation putting you in that situation being in a forest at night let's just call a spade a spade it's fucking creepy and this movie plays on that fear perfectly Perfectly, to the cracking of branches and the rustling of leaves in the background to those the lights coming on and off it really drags you in as an audience and puts you in a situation to go hey if you were here you'd be afraid and then obviously you throw in the paranormal side of things and we've got the recipe for a fucking great little horror movie the one thing why i think this movie did go a bit off the ball is that obviously you didn't have the big special effects in the first one you've got more in this one and they showed a bit too much i'm not going to give away what they show but like in any great monster movie, think of Jaws. When you don't see the shark, that's when the shark is menacing. Here, when you don't see what the true evil is, that's when it's menacing. So then your brain starts to play tricks on you with that combination of minimal light and sound. And that's where this movie really is effective. Of all the horror movies I've seen, and I have seen quite a lot of them, none, none have made me jump like this one did. I'm not, I've never been the biggest fan of jump scares, but there was one scene in particular where the characters are just up close and talking to the camera, looking into each other's eyes. And you've got me in the cinema there going, okay, so jump scare is gonna happen. Any minute here, we're gonna get the jump scare. But this audio that they throw at you, this sound hits you at such a perfect moment. I went from being in my chair to <laughs> twice. I'm not even lying. I was there with a few of my buddies. That was my reaction. Never have I jumped so hard in the cinema. In conclusion, guys, I'm giving The Blair Witch Project a 7 out of 10. This is a seriously solid little movie. It's very contained, much like the first one was. It's got slightly more of a budget. 90% of the time, that big budget is used to great effect. The jump scares are used in a methodical, effective way. Instead of just throwing special effects and monsters at you like so many fucking horror sequels do, this one plays on the very same thing that the Blair Witch Project did. That uncertainty, that uneasiness, that creepiness, not knowing just what's beyond your eyesight. Playing on that innate fear of the dark that we all have. And the audio again, the goddamn audio, just rubs you up the wrong way in such a great way in this movie that the chills come hard and they come 
fast. They do show a little bit too much at the end, which is when the movie stops being scary, but it doesn't lose its creepiness. I think you all should go see this movie, especially if you're horror fans. And I just want to put one last little pin in this here. I did a little project recently with JOG Productions, Manix, and Side SBTV, where we actually flew out to the Black Hills Forest in Burkittsville, Maryland, and we went filming in the Blair Witch Forest, so to speak. Now, a few creepy things happened to us. Hey, you can check out the video now. It's in. I'll put the link in the description too. But the fact of the matter is, is that the things that happened to us there were very similar to what happened in this movie. Check the date. We didn't rip it off. This video came out before we ever saw the Blair Witch. Freaky is an understatement. So over to you guys, what did you think of The Blair Witch? Have you seen the original? Did it scare you when it came out? And have you seen the new one? Are you gonna go see it? And what is your scariest movie of all time? The movie that has scared you more than others? Leave your thoughts in your comments below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Helps me a lot and it allows me to keep bringing you guys silver screen entertainment throughout the week. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday for your movie reviews, top tens, best and worst and throwback Thursday shows. Nico from the Silver Screen Dune as always, signing out. See ya.